the Conservative Party of Canada doesn't want the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion because that's what they would get. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, when we uh, brought, took ownership of that pipeline expansion project, we prevented it uh, from being dead in the water. We know that moving forward in the right way on projects like these is what Canadians expect. Their failure to get our resources to new markets other than the United States uh, is exactly what grew Canadians tired of this government, among, that government, among many other things. They've bought it without building it. We will build it without having to buy it. If they really wanted to develop Canada's energy sector and get our resources to market, they will invite Energy East back to the table. They will scrap the carbon tax and they will scrap their plans for C69, the ban on pipeline bill. Will the Prime Minister do any of those things to get our men and women in this country back to work? The Conservatives seem full of vim and vigour in what they want to talk about, but they don't actually have any plans. The closest we've seen to it is, well, you should bring in legislation to get that pipeline built. The fact that we would expect the private sector and investors to move forward on projects in Canada, knowing that any time you want to get something built, you have to work legislation on it through this House of Commons, is not the kind of predictable, clear, clear path that our inv investors from around the world or in Canada want. We're going to get clarity to be able to build things responsibly.